Hi students, this is experiment 1, which is the determination of the formula unit of a compound. These are the apparatus and chemical reactions that we are going to use in this experiment. All we need are 6 molar hydrochloric acid, zinc powder, diamond measuring cylinder, 50 ml crucible, crucible tongue, glass rod, white tiles, and hot plate. Ensure all doors of the valence are closed and the air bubble in the spirit level is located in the middle of the ring before turning on the balance. Press the on button. Once the balance is initialized, set the reading to zero by pressing the tear button. Open one of the side doors and place the crucible on the balance pan. Then gently close the sliding glass door. Record the exact mass of the crucible. Open one of the side door and place exact 0.25 gram of zinc powder into the crucible. The crucible was weighed again with the exact mass of the zinc powder. Rinse the cylinder in glass rod with distilled water before use. Also, rinse the cylinder with about 3 ml of the solutions that we are going to use in this experiment, which is HCl. Now, fill the cylinder with 10 ml of 6 molar hydrochloric acid. The surface of the solutions in the cylinder will form a curve known as meniscus. Take the bottom of the meniscus that aligns with a greater third mark at eye level as the reading. Carefully, pour the HCl solution into the crucible containing the zinc powder. Stir gently with a glass rod. If the zinc powder does not dissolve completely, continue adding the acid 5 ml at a time until all zinc is dissolved. The amount of acid to be used must not exceed 20 ml. A vigorous chemical reaction will occur and hydrogen gas will be released. Place the crucible on a hot plate in the film cupboard and heat the contents slowly so that the compound does not splatter during the heating process. Heat the compound gently until it is completely dry. Remove the crucible from the hot plate immediately when the compound is completely dry to avoid the compound from melting. Cover the crucible and allow it to cool to room temperature. Weigh the crucible and the compound. Record the mass. Reheat the crucible to dry the compound. Let it cool to room temperature and then weigh it again. Repeat the procedure until the difference in mass does not exceed 0.02 gram. Now you can finally determine the mass of the zinc chloride from the final weight of your sample, the one with the smallest value. Calculate the mass of chlorine in the zinc chloride. Last but not least, determine the formula unit of zinc chloride. 